Alrighty, well, morning, everybody. Well, <clears throat> for those for those that have seen any of my streams, um, know that I got a, I recently got a Killer Instinct, um, which, which the good news was it, from the little I played of it, it seems to be streamable, and it won't. I did a test stream recently, and it didn't clog anything up. Or, um, I had one guy, I had one viewer on. He said, "Didn't surprise from his end." So. So Killer Instinct is a go. So, but uh, one big drawback this game has is uh, it uses all I think almost 50 gigabytes on my hard drive. So and this is on a hard drive that's already damn near full. And now it's uh, it was getting to where that uh, right after I do a stream video or at, right after I do a stream, I have to delete the video immediately afterwards. Otherwise, I get a message saying that. I'm out of storage space, and um, I, I do. I went through my videos folder, um, and I just went ahead and deleted all the videos that I hadn't hadn't used in a long time. Got rid of them. Didn't help much. Um, so what I went ahead and started doing, or it just kind of occurred to me that maybe a lot of these Steam games that I have are taking up space. So um, I I went ahead and got started on. Um, getting rid of all these games that I don't play anymore uh, especially ones that take up a lot of space like at least a gigabyte so and I got as far as I think um I think I got as far as D the, the category D games that's going alphabetically and it just kind of occurred to me I, I feel like I should be documenting this I mean because these are some of these games Despite the fact that I only played them one time, and I've, I've had these games for years, so. But again, I'm I'm out of hard I'm out of hard drive space, and I don't want to you know. I just don't want to be flippantly just sending them on their way, you know. Because like I said, many of these games I, I I mean I've only played a few times, but I've had them for years, so. You know, I'm basically wiping out history. So, like, like I said, I just kind of felt the need to document this. Anyway, and uh, in the background, and I, I still have a cast video that I have to do here. Probably, it's probably just going to be immediately after I make this one. But um, it's going to be best folk and neo folk songs of this year. And I think it just came out either today or yesterday. So, but uh, I am kind of risking this. Um, I looked at the YouTube description and it didn't say anything about it being whether or not this any of this music's copyrighted. So, but like I said, this music sounds really good at the time. It, it, it kind of it really suits the mood. So, I'm just gonna go with this. So let me go ahead and rewind it back. And um, I don't, I don't really know what to do, to, to increase the um, like make the, make the fonts bigger. Yeah. So I guess what I'll go ahead and do is just click each one, one at a time. And then give a yay or nay as to whether or not I'm getting rid of it. But like I said, um, let me check the volume on this. Turn up a little bit. Let me turn it down a little bit from my end. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, and um, I believe I left off at Draken, and then I go to Properties, and then I don't, I hope you guys can see this, and it looks like you can't, so, so, 
5.74 megabytes, so I'm not gonna worry about I'm not gonna worry about this game here. It can stay. Um, Dungeon Warfare. This is another game I don't really play anymore. 142 megabytes. It can stay. I'm not gonna worry about it. it takes a very little space, and I am most certainly keeping this game. Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mistara, my all-time favorite beat 'em up right here. So it's it's definitely staying on board. Uh, Dungeon Up. Played it fairly often. Um, Playtime 62 minutes. Played it from time to time, but not a whole lot. Let's uh, properties. 64 megabytes. It can stay. Takes up very little space. I ain't worried about it. Everything. Uh, yeah, I am most certainly keeping this one too. One of the most intimidating games I've ever played. Um, yeah. Factorio demo. I might just go ahead and get rid of this, even if it takes only a one. Okay, 1.69 gigabytes. Yeah, it's going. So, uninstalling it. Okay, so you can see it. Come on. Bye bye. Ah, Fantasy Strike. Definitely keeping this. This is the first. This is the first fighting game I played, or the first fighting game I played as of recent. Uh, when I got back into fighting games like a few years ago, this is the first one I played, so it's staying. Despite the, and mechanically, it's one of, mechanically it's one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Or I should say 2D fighters, excuse me. So, 71 hours put in quite a bit of time. It's just, um, the aesthetics of the game, like the lore, story, and dialogue, etc. Very cringeworthy, so... Um, Footsie is my all-time favorite 2D fighter. It's definitely Stan. And as you can see here, 179 hours. I played it quite a bit. Um, Forager. Pretty fun game. Haven't really played it in a while. So let's see how big it is. 152 megabytes. It can stay. Uh, File Play. Grabbed this game on a lark. Only played it for four minutes. Didn't really care for it. Two gigabytes. It's going bye-bye. I'm uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Gary's mod. <laughs> Three minutes. Um, for the very brief period of time that I actually tried making my own games. Or I should say, tried making a game. Um, I totally got com I totally got discombobulated by this mod. Like I said, I've never made a game in my entire life, so I think I just jumped in at the deep end on this and basically drowned. So I'll probably go ahead and get this. Even oh damn, 3.7 gigabytes. Yeah, it's out of here. Like I said, I. Um, some odd, some odd years ago, I tried my hand at making a video game. Didn't quite work out. Uh, Gauntlet. Played this a fair amount. It's, as far as the, uh, as how fun it is, it's kind of in the middle. Depending on how big this game is. Uh, 1.4 gigabytes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Um, Gemcraft. I played for, yeah, this says here. Played for about an hour. I actually used to play this a lot many years ago. Uh, probably the, uh, I'd probably say late 2000s, early 2010s. Back when I was playing, uh, I played on a website called Congregate. This was on here. Like I said, I played it a fair amount. Um, okay, 88 megabytes. It can stay on here. Gems of War. 
Um, probably one of my. It's almost like pinball. Um, one of my all-time. It's one of my all-time favorite games. It's kind of up there with pinball, though. I used to play the shit out of this. Um, I even t and today I stream it, but um, playtime is actually starting to taper off. Uh, these days, I just if I'm not streaming it, which or let me kind of explain a little further. Um, on my nights off, as I probably about two three weeks ago, I started uh, playing this game, doing all my dailies and stuff in the morning right when everything resets getting it taken care of and then what I'm thinking of doing during my streams I might actually say this say this during my cast video during my streams I'll probably play this game for like an hour hour or two and then switch over to play Killer Instinct but that's currently what I have going right now but yes I am most certainly keeping this but like I said it's right up there with pinball I get, I get pissed off I get pretty ragey when playing it um, I can get pretty angry at times, but still love it. So, Graveyard Keeper. Uh, I'll go ahead and see how big the game is, but I uh, got this on a lark. 1.6 gigabytes. Yeah, so it's gone. So, Grim Clicker. Ever hear of the sunk cost fallacy? Well, I am a living example of this. Um... I, I, I do this with every game I play. Every game I play. Um, provided that the microtransactions on it aren't aren't too scammy or too scummy, I'll always do it. I'll always do microtransactions. And this this game here definitely was one of them. Fun game. Um, it's an idle game, which, believe it or not, is actually one of my favorite genre, video game genres, idle games. But at some point... I just gotten burnt. Probably from playing it so much. Let's see how big it is. 450 megabytes, so it can stay. But um, in case I didn't say earlier, if a game is a, at least one gigabyte or more, then it's basically it's on the chopping block. Um, Guilty Gear XR2 uh, Revelator. Well, I guess it did play for a fair amount. Two hours. Um, I don't have a mad love for this game or anything like that, but I'll just go ahead and keep it in here. I did try playing Guilty Gear Strive, but the problem with that game is, is my computer can't handle it. Especially when I try to stream it, which is kind of strange because Killer Instinct, I, it looked to me like Killer Instinct was a more graphics-intensive game. But yet, I could stream it. Whereas, um, Guilty Gear Strive doesn't look to be, doesn't have that much graphic detail, but for some reason, I can't. It uses up a lot of my, um, a lot of my resources. So, so, Guilty Gear can stay. Hades, um, another, another great game right here. So, definitely keeping it. Um, Heretic, the... I tried playing this, and the rest of the Hexens too, I don't, for mouse and keyboard, I mean, these, these games came out in the 90s, so I think they were meant for mouse and keyboard, but I can't seem to make it work. I'd rather use a controller, but I think I tried one time. I can't remember if the controller did work on it or not. Oh, damn, 18 megabytes. So it can stay, but it can stay, but it's basically just going to be window decoration. I probably won't play it. Don't really get into these. I played this one though, um, on the back in the 2000s, 1990s, somewhere around there. I had this on my Nintendo 64, but again, I can't. I, I think it's a uh, mouse and keyboard only. If it was a if you could use a controller, it acted really wonky. But I played this for a short time. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. so it just, so yeah. Um, Idle Bouncer, come on, there. Played this a super brief period. I'll probably go ahead and uninstall this. Uh, at at 91 megabytes, so not worth it. 
Um, Epic Breakers, yeah, I'll definitely uninstall this one. I played this for a very brief period of time, hadn't since. Idle Bouncer, played it fairly often, got burnt, but it, as it takes up very little space, I'll keep it. Incremental Epic Hero. As you can tell here by the playtime, 598 hours. I played I played this game a ton. So, but let me, um, I haven't played this in a while. Let me look at how big it is. 416 megabytes. It can stay. Inscription. Um, this, this game was actually gifted to me by a guy named Jake Ryan. I played, yeah, it shows here. I played for about an hour. I'm kind of burnt out on uh, deck building games like uh, Slay the Spire. Played it one time. I'd play it again, but at, at this point in time, probably not. Um, I like it enough to keep it though. So, uh, just die already. In theory, a fun game, but it just, after a while, it just didn't click with me. So, two gigabytes, yeah, so, it's going bye-bye. Karate Master. I watched, I watched a gameplay video of this somewhere. I think I found out about this game on Reddit. Uh, checked it out. Looked pretty cool. But when I actually tried to play it, oh my god, what a clusterfuck. Uh... 550 megabytes, that's half a gig. I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. King of Dragon Pass. I can't remember where I saw this, but it's got resolution issues. I don't see this taking up very much. 422 megabytes, close enough. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of this. It's a it's a text-based adventure game, but I think um, it's got resolution issues. I couldn't make it fit my screen. Um, King of Fighters. <sighs> Tried playing these. Again, they didn't really click. Uh, I mainly got it just... I was just trying to... Just... I can't... I think, uh... I might have bought these when they are on sale. I can't remember. Never played this one, but let me see how much space it takes up. 1.4 gigabytes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get that out of there. Play the 98 version. 11 minutes. And again, it it wasn't a terrible game or anything like that, but like I said, it just it pretty much went in one eye and out the other. 686 uh, megabytes. Close enough. I'll go ahead and get it out of there. Um, 13, played, yeah, it says here, I played for about an hour, yeah, played for about an hour, it didn't, again, it didn't really click with me, 2.2 gigabytes, so, I'm gonna have to get rid of that one, but again, it, it, it's not a terrible game, but I played, played for a bit, it just didn't do anything for me. Um, Kingsway. I think this game is basically... It's, I think it's a... It's meant to be like an old-school retro RPG. Um, but... The unique thing... The unique uh, feature, for lack of a better word, is it's a uh, mouse only. And, what, and it's going to be played with like a zillion windows that you have to click. Um, a pretty revolutionary concept... But I, it again, it wasn't for me. But it, as it, it's only 57 megabytes, and I want to try something here. Um, so so yeah. I'm hoping you guys can see that fairly well. What you're looking for is the blue text towards the uh, top center of the screen. That's how much space up. Uh, excuse me. That's how much space 
that uh, King's Weight takes up. So, but again, interesting idea. I'll go ahead and leave it on there. Legend of Grimrock. This game here gave the nod to Dungeon Master. Um, it's and it's not my number one. It's not my number one favorite uh, RPG, but fairly high up there. I played this one time again. In theory, I freaking love it. I love these kind of RPGs, but it for some reason the replay value just wasn't there for me. So. Okay, so you guys can see it then. Yeah. 720 megabytes. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Again, um, this game was really fucking great at the time when I, when I first saw, when I first heard about this. But it, it just, I couldn't get into playing it again. Uh, Grimrock 2, I'm not even going to look at this one, but same thing. It was basically trying to improve on perfection. Uh, Legend of Keepers. Played this for a brief period. Fairly interesting. It's kind of like uh, Darkest Dungeon, except uh, you're the bad guys. You're trying to take down the good guys. 1.6, but otherwise, I would almost, kind of like Diablo 2, I'd almost have to have like a, like a character editor or something. Because um, the, the enemies get harder and harder than I can keep up with. So, But it, it it's hard to explain unless you've actually played it. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Not much fun for me. Lethal League Blaze. Yeah, I had a choice here. I played a couple hours. Revolution, revolutionary concept right here for a 2D fighter. You're not... In this game here, you're not trying to whack on each other. Yeah, instead you're trying to hit a you're trying to hit a ball. You're trying to hit a ball and make it ricochet into your opponent. So I'll go ahead and keep it in here. I don't really play it anymore. Again, the the concept just didn't click with me. So um, Magic Duels. I'm a uh, I'm a huge Magic the Gathering fan, but the problem is I need access to every card in the game. In, in Magic Duels, and I think there was another Magic the Gathering game that I tried out, but uh, same thing, you could only use cards from like as far back as 2019 or something like that, whereas I want all the cards, like all the way back into the 90s. I, I'm, I'm the kind of person where deck building is just as, it's just as important, if not more so, than playing it. So, like I said, I got to have all the colors on my palette. So, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a big game. 2.4 gigabytes. Yep, it's out of there. <coughs> All right, so, um, Mazzle Beast Pinball Collection. I'm not even going to look at the uh, file size on this. It just played it for a super brief period. I think I bought a few tables, but... It just wasn't working out. Um, master levels for Doom 2. Uh, see the heretics? I, for some reason, I think it's a uh, mouse and keyboard only. Here, let me do this instead. Okay, 22 megabytes. I'm not even going to worry about this. It can go ahead and stay on. But again, I don't, don't really play this anymore, so... can stay on. Um, Melty Blood. I actually kind of, this is another 2D fighter. I actually kind of like this game. Um, one little, one little feature, one little feature this game has, at least as far as training mode goes, unlike other games, it shows you this, it shows you your, your special moves in the lower left and the lower right corner of the screen. That helps a lot. That mean, I mean, granted, all their moves are pretty, all their, uh, their motion inputs are pretty much the same, but it's still it's good to have down there to be you know for a quick reference. That way, so I'm not so I'm not having to constantly pause the game. You no, know, you know, pause the game, go on the menu, look up the command list. Oh, that's what that does. Okay, and then go back into the game. It 
It just saves so much time. Um, mini healer. I can't... I don't think it was gifted to me, but um, one of my one of my regulars, he mentioned that he started playing this game. It kind of had me curious, so I tried it out myself. Great for a little while, but after a bit, it just I just wasn't into it. And 1.25 gigabytes, so... Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and get rid of this. Um, NGU Industries. One of my... Another favorite idol game of mine, but... It, this is one of those, again, I just started losing interest over time. Let me see how big it is. 129 megabytes. It can stay. Needog. Another favorite 2D fighter of mine. Very revolutionary concept. It's staying. One Finger Death Punch. One of my all-time favorite fighting games. Period. So, but One Finger Death Punch 2, however, I'm not even going to look at the file size. This one sucks. They tried to improve on perfection, and they failed miserably. So, I'll take another drink. Um, Oregon Trail. Fun for a lark. It's a variation of Oregon Trail, but the novelty wore off quickly. I won't even look at the file size. I'll just get rid of it. Papers, please. Uh, great game, even though I suck balls at it. I am one of the most unobservant people you'll ever meet. You'll, if you ever play this game, you'll know what I mean when I say that. I, I suck at hidden object puzzles. Despite that, I'll keep it on. Uh, PC, PC building simulator. I think I streamed this game one time. Just lost interest all of a sudden. Um, I won't get rid of it though. But it, it. Cool concept. If you ever wanted to learn how to build a build a PC, this is the game you want to play. Pillars of Eternity. Um, kind of plays like Baldur's Gate, which that is. Um, I got I gotta say this, Baldur's Gate 2. I streamed the crap out of it, but I did have to use cheats just to make the game bearable. Uh, but yeah, I got rid of that game. It took up a bunch of gigabytes. Pillars of Eternity, I'm guessing the same thing. It's the same game along the vein of Baldur's Gate. Played for a while. Lost interest. 14 gigabytes. Yeah, with that, even more so. So, let me get that out of there. Yeah, it's got to take a while. A lot of gigs it's got to get rid of. Yeah, like I said, it's going to take a while. There it goes. Pinball Arcade and Pinball FX3. One of my biggest passions throughout life is pinball. So, as you can tell by the playtime, 379 hours. Played this a ton and streamed it. 606 hours right here. Again, I played the crap out of this stuff. I love pinball. Ever since I was a little kid, so they're most certainly staying. Pixel Dungeon. Fun for a lark. 124 gigs. Nothing really jumped on and grabbed me. I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. Plague. Keeping this. Another another cool concept. Um, Planescape Torment. My Probably my all-time favorite story... I don't want to say storyline, but if you want to look into like narration, um, if you want, you know, what you know, dialogue, writing style, etc., this game's got it all. Uh, but as far as actually playing it, it's basically a, it's basically a visual novel. So, okay, um, there was a big interruption during the uh, during this video. My hand accidentally brushed some part of the keyboard that caused a bunch of other music to play. I didn't know where it came from. Like, no window popped up or anything. Um, in, a, in a panic, or eventually in a panic, um, I ended up having to shut... I just ended up uh, shutting down and restarting the computer because I didn't know where it was coming from. So, 
it might I thought it might have been steam itself but like I said I was in too much of a panic to think straight so I the only conclusion I came to was to just pull the plug on the computer again I don't know what caused it I don't um, I didn't again I didn't see a window of where the music was playing so but anyway Just going to pick up where I left off on this music. Um, best folk and neo-folk songs in 2021. Okay, so... Let's just leave that the way it is. But just going to pick up where I left off. Oh, let me get this window out of here. Um... I believe I left off at Planescape Torment, which, um, um, I'm gonna see how big this is first. Okay, so, 1.65 gigs. Uh, yeah, I got to make a tough call here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave it on. Uh, Prison Architect. I tried this for a short time. It, for amazingly 478 megabytes, I figured it'd been more. But like I said, don't play this anymore. Don't care to. I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, Punch Planet. Played for a little while. It just didn't do anything for me yeah a gig and a half so I'll just go ahead and get rid of it okay uh, railroad tycoon I'm most certainly leaving this in here I played a, I played this game a ton back in the day back when I had a PS1 um, realm grinder back in the late 2000s 2010s I played the crap out of this on the Congregate website. Don't really play it anymore. Let me see how big it is. But at 45 megabytes, not gonna worry about it. Uh, Realm of the Mad God. Uh, played this fairly often. Back in, um, again, back in the day. 79 megabytes. I'll just leave it on. Uh, Reketeer. Pretty fun game. Um, it's a item shop simulator, basically. Yeah, six, 600 megabytes. Not really enough for me to keep it on. Like I said, I don't, I don't really play this anymore. Um, Risk. I play this for, for a short time, depending on how big this is. Uh, yeah, 796. I'll go ahead and get rid of it. Played this a lot back when I was a kid, but I tried playing it recently. It just wasn't, just wasn't working out. Uh, Rivals of Aether. I am most certainly keeping this in here. Probably my favorite platform fighter right here. RPG Maker. Um, this, again, this was back when, um, uh, I'll just get rid of... Yeah, I'll just get rid of all these RPG makers. Yeah, like I said, never... This is back during when I wanted to try my hand at making a video game, but it wasn't really working out. Oh, don't tell me it's going to start doing this crap. Any file size that shouldn't be taking this long. There we go. It's really pissing me off. You fucking stop. It keeps it keeps up uh, going back up to the top. Right, let me try that actually clicking on it first. 
Didn't work either. And then, um, I'll go ahead and keep this one. RPG Maker XP, just for, uh, just historic reasons. Posterity, I guess. Um, Rush Down Revolt. Didn't get into this one at all. It's almost six gigabytes right here, so yeah, it's going bye-bye. Um, Samurai Showdown 5. Played it a little bit, but like some of these other fighting games, they don't, it does it didn't really do anything for me. Amazingly, no, it's only 330 megabytes. Pretty small for a fighting game. But, like I said, I haven't really played this game, so, um, Sega, Sega Mega, Sega! 1.7 gigs. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to think long and hard on this one. I'll just go ahead and keep it. Um, Shadowrun. I don't I don't remember. Uh, I think I played this for a tiny bit of time. It's basically another... Uh, it's a cyberpunk Baldur's Gate. And it takes up almost 7 gigs. So yeah, it it is gone. It's going to take a while because of all the gigs it's got to get rid of. And let's go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, almost 10 gigs. It is gone. lot of gigs on this one so it's going to take a while okay, what does this Shaolin versus Wu-Tang definitely keeping this one um top five favorite uh 2d fighter games right here Skullgirls I guess it needs to be updated I played a little bit. Not that big of a fan of it. Um, it does, however, it has a distinction of having my all-time favorite uh, fighting game soundtrack. Since uh, I love me some jazz music, so I can go ahead. I'll go ahead and uh, keep it just based on that alone. SNK. I wonder what's in this, but oh. Uh, let me ask you how big it is. If it's a... Uh, okay, 1.2 gigs. Ain't gonna worry about it. Sonic CD. Never played it. Don't know how I got it. Space Ace. Played it one... Played it one time. Um, this is... Played it a lot back when I was a kid growing up in the 80s. So... But like I said... I played it one time didn't care to after that so despite that I'll keep it in there stick fight the game fun for like a short period of time 370 something megabytes but like I said I don't play it anymore so Street Fighter def definitely keeping that one um, usually on here I'll either play Street Fighter 2 or a Street Fighter uh, Third Strike, but even then, I as it shows here, 6.7 hours, so don't play this that much. But like I said, it can stay. Streets of Rage 4, um, pretty fun beat 'em up. It can definitely stay. Uh, Super Bit Blaster, and as you can see by the playtime, I've only played for a grand total of a half an hour. 
don't care for it much. Um, I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. It's like a 133 megabytes, but uh, Super House of Dead Ninjas. I think I streamed this game a couple times, but haven't really played it since. But let me see how big it is. If it's small enough, I'll keep it. Yeah, 82 megabytes. I'll go ahead and keep it. Um, Dems Fighting Herds. I think I played this maybe two or three times. Um, I mean, it, it not just not just because of the My Little Pony factor, but it just other things too. It just it didn't click. Four, yeah, four gigs. So. Go ahead and toss that one out of here. And then Titan Quest, I got this one. Thinking there's um there'd be plenty of cheats on here to make the game more make the game more bearable, but 13 gigs, uh-uh. But I think there are like maybe three cheats that didn't really help me much. So and at 13 gigs, even less of a reason to keep it on here. Uh, Total War, Three Kingdoms, it's just like, uh, it's just like Total Shogun, Total War, um, this one here is based on my all-time favorite book, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, uh, briefly played it, I think I even streamed it, and at 20, 28 gigs, it ain't worth keeping, but yeah, the, the novelty wore off quickly on this. I hate it when it does that. So, um, tabs. Totally accurate ba battle simulator in... Theoretically, cool idea. Cool concept, but I only played it one time and just wasn't into it. Transistor. This is another one of those. It is. I think I. Uh, oh, how to, I forgot, I forgot the. There might be a, a review or something, but it's like a. It's a really unique hybrid of two different genres: RPG and something else. I think this is one of those where I pretty much liked everything about it except the gameplay itself. It just wasn't it just wasn't my bag. So I'm pretty sure it's a big big file size. Yeah, three gigs, so I have to cut it loose. Alright, I gotta I gotta do something else here real quick. something else up. Okay. Uh, Two Point Hospital. I actually played I actually played this a fair amount uh, some odd years ago. Um, I've streamed this a few times. It's a sim it's sim hospital. Um, kind of fun, kind of fun, kind of into it, but uh, like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time, so let me see how big it is. Okay, nine gigabytes, it's got to go. Um, two strikes, love the concept, but uh, for some reason it just didn't jive well with me. I can't remember why, but at three gigabytes, yeah, it's not worth keeping Ultra Street Fighter 4! Um, I'll play this a little bit. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. Undertale. Um, it, this is... 
the appeal of this game is lost on me. I mean, I like a few about a few other games I've mentioned. I mean, I, I can get I I can see how I can see how it'd be really popular, but when I play it, it's just not for me. So let me out uh, look how big it is. Okay, but at, at 155 megabytes, I'll go ahead and keep it. Um, Uno. Um, love the, I mean, I love the, um, I love the fact that a classic card game is made into a video game. Played it, I'll play it a little bit, but the problem is, is it's almost as bad as City Skylines. It takes longer, it takes longer for the game to boot up than it does my whole freaking computer. City Skylines has that issue too. It takes longer for that game to boot up than it does booting up my computer. And, and to make matters worse, it takes longer for that game to shut down than it does to shut down my whole computer. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Uno is like this, but not as bad. It just, it's just the booting up part. It shuts down instantly. But let me see how big it is. Okay, 3.9 gigs. Yeah, it's got to go. Um, Yang, eh, yeah, I'm not even gonna look at how big this is. Bad call trying this game out. Um, Yomi, this is, um, this is a card game version of Fantasy Strike. I think the card game came out before this game did. But, played it briefly, not really into it. But just just out of the fact that the same guy that created Yomi created Fantasy Strike, where again, mechanically, it's one of my all-time favorite 2D fighters. But again, overall aesthetics really fucked the game up, so I'll go but like I said Don't plan I don't plan on playing this again, but I will go ahead and keep it. Um Zach Pinball, same thing. These the the tables in this one are legitimately hard. So I definitely gotta give Zachariah Pinball that. Definitely keeping it. Um Zuma. Um I think I played this for a sh super short period of time. Wasn't wasn't into it at all. Now but at, at 10 megabytes, I'll go ahead and keep it. I used to play this a lot back when um I, I would uh once or twice a week I would eat at various restaurants that had barcade machines. I would play Zuma on those, but I actually, I wanted to bring the barcade action home, it, but it just, it didn't really work out, so. But, okay, um, so let's see how much space I saved, or let me rephrase that, let me see how much, how much space I created. Duh. Not sure how well you'll be able to see this. Okay, so you guys can. Well, there you go. Um, before I started cleaning out my Steam, um, you, I think I had maybe, maybe about, about a hundred gigs of space of free space now. I have about 400, so. Yeah, that real, so this really helped. But like I said, um, like I said at the start of this video, this, this was not a, this is not a decision I made lately. So, but like I said, I've got a, I got kind of a crisis situation here, so I had to do it. But otherwise, hey, um, that, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to have to set to doing some cutting and sewing and try to get this whole video all set up and get it all uploaded. And, hell, I still got my cast video I have to get taken care of as well, so got to give, got to get ready for that, too. So, but otherwise, once again, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.